Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video on the White Kingdom Gacha channel. Today, we are doing a quick reroll guide for the newly released global version of Idly Pride. So, when you first load up the game, you get to the start menu, you will just click through, do the tutorial. I've already done that, but you will go through the tutorial, like five minutes, and then you will go to the summon section. So, let's click here, click start. Now, the good thing is that after you've done the tutorial once, you need not do it again. You can skip the tutorial every single time after the first run through, which makes rerolling very quick and very simple. So, of course, with this login with a guest account, you will not bind your account until you are done rerolling in this case. So, when you log in, you go here to the summoning section. As you can see, there are a shit ton of banners, and I really don't know which one is the best to summon for. I really don't. It's hard to find tier lists for this game and any sort of authoritative source on this. But at least the one thing I did know or did hear is that the premium casting, the Mana Nagasa, Nagase, God names, character is apparently very good, which is probably why she's on the premium banner here. So she has only a 1% rate. And she's also on one of these banners where there's only her and no other characters, just currency and like other in-game items, which is very annoying. But yeah, you you want to get her first, basically, with the 10 free temple you get. I think you only get one temple worth of gems to start with. So you'll go here, you'll try to draw um, Mana Nagase, and then if you pull her, then you will go back and you will at that point have some summoning currencies, not sure how much you get. I think it was like 30 or something summoning tickets, but not gems, but summoning tickets. And the summoning tickets will show here at the bottom, you'll have like 30 or something of them. Then you will go to one of the banners you can use tickets on, for example this one, or whoever else, whatever else you really want to use it on. You have like a few here you can use your tickets on. I used my tickets on this banner. Because I thought they looked nice. Again, I'm not sure on the sort of uh, meta gaming of any of these banners. But basically, you want to go for mana first. If you get her in the free 10 roll of gems you get, then you will try to get, you know, a few, at least a couple more uh, SSRs or 5 stars with the 30 or so free extra pulls you get. Then, if you're not happy, or if you are, if you are happy, of course, you go to the menu and you. Okay, game. Yeah. Then you go to the menu, go to account, and you link basically your Google or whichever other link option you want to link it to. Or if you don't want to link it and you want to reset, then you just simply go back to the title screen here. And when you're on the title screen, you very simply go to account and delete data. Might also be... No, it's here, yeah. You go to account and you just delete data. When you delete data, you will delete any data related to the account on here. And since it's not uh, linked anywhere, it will just go, you know, back to square one and you can log back in. And as I said before, there is, you don't have to do the tutorial again. Once you have done the tutorial once, you should be able to skip the tutorial. Meaning you can just go right back into the, into the uh, summoning, which means every reroll should just be two, three minutes a piece easy. Maybe even less. You can probably do a reroll in less than two minutes if you are quick. So you can just then keep rerolling over and over and over and over again until you get the characters you want. That being said, that'll be the general quick reroll guide for Idly Pride Global Version. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I couldn't get more of a, a <laughs> knowledge on the best characters to pull for, except for the premium one. As I said, it's just very hard for me to find any authoritative sources on what characters are meta or not, and the banners themselves. There are so many options, and my head just spins. So, so yeah. Anyways though, hope you enjoyed the real, real guide. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Comment below if you have any thoughts on the video, on the game, or any tips for other players. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.